Testing one, two. Testing one, two, three. Testing one.
Good evening, everyone. Welcome here to tonight's game between the Jeff Davis Yellow Jackets and the Applin County Pirates. Derek Wooten with Three Rivers Meat Company is going to be throwing out the first pitch here tonight. As you see him on the mound there now, getting ready to throw out this uh, ceremonial first pitch. There you have Three Rivers Meat Company, one of our fine sponsors here this afternoon, here on JDH TV, and a great partner in our business community. So tonight, a battle, early season matchup between number one ranked Applin County, number two ranked Jeff Davis. This is in the Coach's Box Georgia Class AA poll. Uh, Applin in Region 3 AA, Jeff Davis in Region 2 AA. Pirates come in 4-0 and on the season. Jackets are 2-1 and one and coming off of that big victory and the second game of the doubleheader on Saturday over Thomas County Central, a top 10 ranked team out of class 6A, Jeff Davis won that game 4-1. to one. Duke Stone, um, Case and Clance, and Alex Mason combined to throw a no-hitter in that game. Stone got the start in the win. He went four innings, struck out 10. Alex Case, uh, Case and Clance rather pitched three innings. He struck out four. And Alex Mason pitched the final inning to get the save and picked up two strikeouts, so a total of 16 strikeouts recorded by the Jackets pitchers in seven innings. Applin County coming in, very impressive start. They defeated Wayne County in their season opener 6-4, shut out Savannah Country Day 15 to nothing, won a close one over Tift Area Academy 5-2, to and in their last game, another shutout 11 nothing over Jones County. So very impressive team. It's Applin County and Coach Zach Griffiths have a powerhouse team this year. They're going to be a big, big threat in that region, 3AA, which is pretty well stacked with Pierce County, Brantley County, all receiving preseason recognition in a lot of the polls around the, around the uh, area. So uh, as you can see, the top four in that coach's box poll, Appling at number one, Jeff Davis number two, Vidalia Indians also out of region three, Double A at number three, Mount Perrin at number four. Those there you have the top four in the class double A poll. Of course, it's early, just week one. Uh, that's after week one of the season, so very early poll. And uh, you'll hear every coach tell you that these early season polls really don't mean a whole lot. Well, right now, we're going to take a break, get some words from our sponsors. We're going to be back after this timeout on the Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. At Jeff Davis Hospital in Hazelhurst, we are committed to building a healthy community. We use the latest technology and our knowledgeable team members provide exceptional state-of-the-art care to our local community and surrounding areas. We provide a respectful understanding of care for our patients and their loved ones. For more information about Jeff Davis Hospital and the services we provide, call 912-375-7781 or visit us online at jeffdavishospital.org. Since their founding in 1968, the Beasley Group has become a vertically integrated leader in the forest products industry, and this growth has made them the largest hardwood sawmill in the United States and North America's foremost producer of crane mats and timbers for the energy transmission, utility, and construction industries. The Beasley Group is proud to be members of the Hazelhurst and Jeff Davis County community. They are also proud supporters of all Jeff Davis High School sports. Go Jackets from the Beasley Group.
Williams Brothers Trucking is now hiring qualified CDL Class A licensed drivers with at least two years over the road tractor trailer experience. Williams Brothers Trucking has an excellent benefits package. They have quarterly bonuses. They have great insurance. They offer flexibility as far as your work schedule. Um, you're not really pressured into starting at any certain time throughout the day. Be home every day with family owned and operated Williams Brothers Trucking. Apply now online. Go Jackets! Dr. Kurtman Syak and his health care professionals at the Jeff Davis Walk In Clinic care about their patients. The Jeff Davis Walk In Clinic offers prompt health care for acute sicknesses and treatments for a wide range of non emergency illnesses and injuries. To make an appointment, call 912 375 4884 or visit them at 22 Cross Street in Hazelhurst. Go Jackets and God bless from Dr. Kurt Munsiak and his team at the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic. Back here at Yellow Jacket Field where waiting to get started tonight's action between the number one ranked Appling County Pirates number against the number two ranked Jeff Davis Yellow Jackets. Always a big rivalry anytime Jeff Davis, Appling County get together in any field of competition. A beautiful day for baseball. The Mitch's Pharmacy Field Condition Report. The field is in excellent shape, nice and lush and green. The infield is looking very good, and we're going to be have a night of good baseball action with almost letter perfect weather, especially here as we're still in the month of February. As we got a nice spring time weather here this afternoon very mild temperatures here at the ballpark if you're out getting off work heading home and uh want to uh take in a ball game you can't find a better game anywhere in southeast georgia than you're going to have right here at yellow jacket field with the two top two teams here in early season in class double a umpire and crew making their way to the field coach Griffiths for Appling County and Coach Glass for Jeff Davis on exchange lineup cards and Coach Glass will go over the field rules for tonight and then we'll have the national anthem and be ready to get underway here here very shortly. The jackets are going to be in their home white uniforms, white jerseys with the navy letters and numbers trimmed in gold, white pants, navy blue stockings and the White cap with the navy blue blue bill and the interlocking JD, Appling County. Black jerseys with the, the red A logo on the chest, white numbers, gray pants, and black caps. So it'll be getting things headed up here. Coach Glass, as we said, going over field rules here at the start of the game. We want to thank our Network sponsor, Jeff Davis Hospital. Our, we bring you this on the Jeff Davis Hospital Sports Network. They're the proud sponsor of Jeff Davis Athletics all year long. And, of course, our live stream sponsor, the Beasley Group. We appreciate their ongoing support of Yellow Jacket Sports and as well as all of our sponsors. And without them, they uh, without our sponsors, we're not able to bring this to you here on JDH TV. So we're having a great time here this afternoon getting set for this absolutely gorgeous day for baseball. Jeff Davis opened the season, seems like about a month ago now, but that was way back uh, a couple of weeks ago, opened up against Blackley County, a top 10 ranked team in class single A. Jeff Davis won that one 13 to one in five innings. Then we traveled to Thomas County Central Saturday on a cold, windy afternoon in the first game of the day for Jeff Davis. Wayne County jumped out to a 5-1 to one lead after an inning of play, but the Yellow Jackets kept fighting back. They managed to, by the fourth inning, had tied it up at six apiece. Wayne County was able to push off across a, one, a run in the fifth and make that stand up to take a 7-6 to six win. And then in the finale of the day, Jeff Davis taking on Thomas County Central, Class 6A team, a top 10 ranked preseason team. And the Jackets won that one 4 to, four to 1 on a combined no hitter by Duke Stone 
Kaysen Clance, and Alex Mason. Let's get you today's starting lineups first for the Appland County Pirates under head coach Zach Griffiths. Leading it off at, sec at third base is Dason Griffiths. Batting second, playing second, Colin Ewaldson. Left fielder Jake Evan Sykes will hit third. Batting clean up the designated hitter, Jack Coleman. Behind the plate, hitting fifth will be Nate Livingston. The shortstop, Patrick Crosby, will hit seventh, hit sixth, rather, batting seventh. And pitching will be Isaac Edenfield. In center field, batting eighth will be Jack Carter. Batting ninth at first base, Grayson Hall. And Garrison Turner will start defensively for the Pirates in right field. Now for your Jeff Davis Yellow Jackets. Head coach Paul Glass comes into action today with an overall record of 473 wins against 260 losses. Leading it off, right fielder Hayden Turner. Batting second, playing second, Ethan Picanso. Hitting third and getting the start on the hill for the Jackets will be Alex Mason. Clean up, catcher Carter Mullis. Batting fifth, first baseman Duke Stone. The designated hitter, Ethan Griffin, will hit sixth. Batting seventh will be the shortstop, Eli Saunders. In the eighth spot will be third baseman, Jackson Sayer. And batting ninth, playing second base, Ethan, I got that wrong, Ethan Picasso, Cam, Cam, Camden Monsack starts defensively for the Jackets in left field. And right now, we're going to direct your attention to the field as Ethan Dixon will do the national anthem. They have the national anthem by Jeff Davis High School student, a member of our JDH broadcast team, Ethan Dixon. Right now, we're going to take a 60-second timeout, get some words from our sponsors. This is the Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. EP American Footwear in Hazelhurst is proud to be a part of the Hazelhurst Jeff Davis community and are proud sponsors of all Jeff Davis County sports. If you're looking for a great job with a great company, they are hiring for all shifts. You can apply in person Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, at 10 North Hill Street in Hazelhurst. Go Jackets from all the folks at EP American Footwear of Hazelhurst. Go Jackets! The Bank of Hazelhurst is Jeff Davis County's only locally owned and operated bank, serving their friends and family since 1906. They offer a wide array of services, including personal, commercial, and electronic banking services, along with mortgage and ag lending. For more information on the services they offer, call them at 912-375-4228. Download their banking app or contact them online at bankofhazelhurst.com. The Bank of Hazelhurst. When others have their branches, they have their roots. Ready to get underway here at Yellow Jacket Field where Jeff Davis, Appling County, ready to set 
to play here. Let's get you the defense for the Yellow Jackets in the outfield left to right. Messiah, Clance, and Turner around the horn. Third to first, Sayer, Saunders, Picanso, and Stone. Behind the plate is Mullis. And on the mound, junior pitcher Alex Mason, Jason Griffiths, Cole, Colin E. Walton, and Jake Evan Sites. The first three do up. First pitch from Mason is in there, is up high for ball one. There's a strike on the outside corner. And count evens at a ball and a strike. Griffith's a right-handed batter. Even stance in the box. The 1-1. One, one. High fly ball, center field. Calling forward is Clancy as he drifts to his left about six or seven steps. And he'll make the catch for route number one. That'll bring Colony e. Walson to the plate. E. Walson, a lefty, will stand in. Nobody on one out. Mason from the wind, the pitch. There's a strike, that letter high. Nothing in one. Alex generally run upper 80s. The 0 1 pitch. All speed pitch missed down low. One ball, one strike. Alex, a junior, has committed to continue to play baseball at Georgia Southern University after he graduates next year. Strike at the knees. That's one and two. Nobody on one out. The wind, the one, two. Just off the outer edge, that was a good take by Walson. A lefty had a good look at that one and laid off. It's now two and two. Quickly, Mason goes into the wind. Fast ball, 87, sails up high, and the count goes three balls, two strikes. Carter Mullis lays down the sign, the pitch. Just off the outer edge, and Applin County gets their first base runner. One out walk puts a man aboard with for J Jake Evan Sykes. Sykes, a left fielder, bats from the right side. He's going to stand at the front of the batter's box and crowd up on the plate from the right side. Mason, right handed pitcher from the stretch, checks the run at first. Foul back into the screen. No balls, one strike. Just underway, top of the first inning. One on, one out for the Pirates. Duke Stone holding the runner at first. Mason gives him a peek, turns and throws over, not in time. Two-man umpiring crew here tonight. Of course, this is a non-region game. It's a lot of years, Jeff Davis and Applin have been region rivals. Now they're just heated rivals. Call strike on the inside corner. There's nothing in two. Sykes behind in the count now. Mason trying to pitch out uh, over a walk he had earlier. The pitch. Fast ball at 85, sails wide. Not a bad 0-2 pitch to throw. Tried to get him to chase it off the plate. Sykes laid off. The 1-2. Can't curveball got him looking, froze him with a hook. 
And Alex Mason picks up his first strikeout. Two gone, and runner stays at first with Jack Coleman. Coleman also a lefty. I don't know that I ever remember many times as these two teams have played when they've faced each other ranked one and two in the state rankings. Of course, it is early in the year, so read into that as much as you will. First pitch is a fastball on the outside corner. Alex, when he pitches ahead in the count and can throw his breaking ball when he wants to, quick throw to first, close play over there. And he has a pretty nifty pickoff move to first as well. He is complete package on the hill. The 0-1. That all speed, that fastball sail wide. That was an 83. One ball, one strike. Runner leads from first. The 1-1. One, one. Breaking ball is in there. I believe that may have been just a straight change that time. Didn't see a lot of break, break on it, but it was definitely slower speed at 74 instead of 84. The one, two, the runner goes, that pitches up high, the throw down, gonna be wide of second, gonna skip into center field, but Casey and Clance backs it up quickly. Hold the runner at second. So a stolen base gets a runner in scoring position for the Pirates with two outs. Two and two, the count to Coleman. Applin threatening to take an early lead here. It's trying to hold him off. The two-two, got him swinging with a good high fastball. Two strikeouts for Mason in the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors, and one left. We played a half inning, Applin County Nothing. Jeff Davis coming to bat. 62nd timeout. This is a Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. Visit Mitch's Pharmacy for that fast, friendly hometown service you deserve. We carry a full line of prescription and over-the-counter medicines so that there is never a long wait. Talk to Mitch and ask how you can save on all your prescriptions. Shop small and save big by switching to Mitch. Inside Mitch's Pharmacy is Designs and More by Brandy, where you will find popular brands like Fieldstone, Corky's, Gans, Braswell's, and Savannah Bee Company, as well as Brandy's own silk and live floral designs and custom gift baskets. We are your one-stop shopping location. At Altamaha Hall Bank & Trust, we strive to help you live your best life. That means offering loans for nearly any dream or goal. With competitive rates, local processing, and quick decisions, we can customize a loan to fit your needs. This is Misty Boatwright, Relationship Manager at the Hazelhurst Branch. Come see me today at 57 North Tallahassee Street or visit our website at altamahall.bank. And let's work together to achieve your financial goals. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. We move on to the bottom of the first inning, led there by Altam Hall Bank and Trust. It'll be Hayden Turner, Ethan Picanso, and Alex Mason, the first three due up for Jeff Davis defensively. For the Pirates, the outfield left to right, you have Sykes, Carter, Turner, third to first on the infield, Griffiths, Crosby, E. Walson, and Hall, Livingston behind the plate, and on the mound, right-hander Isaac Edenfield. Edenfield completing his warm-up tosses here. Alex Mason walked to batter, but struck out two in the top of the first inning. There goes the throw down to second. And Hayden Turner's going to lead us off. Hayden's off to a really good start. Hayden Turner off to a great start. He's hitting 500 with six runs driven in. Hayden Field taking a long look, ready to go. Here's the pitch. A little looper out towards second. Second baseman leaping catch. 
for the first out of the inning. One pitch, one out. And that'll bring Ethan Picanto to the plate. Ethan hitting 400 on the year. He's going to send a roll down the right side into right field for a base hit. Ethan jumps on the first pitch he sees and picks up the first hit of the game. An opposite field single for the Yellow Jackets. And I'll bring Alex Mason to the plate. Mason also hitting 500 on the early season with five runs driven in. Runner at first, one out for the Jackets. Mason drives one straight away center field. Center fielder Carter hardly had to move a step to record the out. And there's two gone. Carter Mullis will come to the plate. Carter hitting 333 on the young season. He's driven in three runs. Picanso, a one out single, still at first. Edenfield from the pitch ball pops away from the catcher, and that's going to get Ethan over to second on the pass ball. Pitch was a strike. One and the count. Oh, and one rather the count. High fly ball left field. Left fielder going back. Still going back. That ball's pretty deep. That ball's at the wall. And that ball is out of here. A Williams Brothers Trucking Company home run for. Carter Mullis, he got all of that one, folks. Let's see that on instant replay. As you see the ball going back to the wall and looking up, and that's gone. So Carter Mullis touches them all and gives the Jackets a 2-0 lead here in the early going. Our first... Williams Brothers trucking comb run of the season. That'll bring Duke Stone to the plate. Base is empty now with two outs. Jackets up two to nothing. Stone with a big cut fouls it back and out of play. Edenfield, the wind in the pitch, missed down low at 77. Count even at a ball and a strike. Ethan Picanto, an opposite field single, and then Carter Mullis with a tater bomb to give the Jackets a 2 nothing lead. Big cut by Duke, comes up empty. It's one and two. Wind the one two pitch. Foul back. Duke's able to stay alive. Early fireworks here at the Yellow Jacket Field. We get our first Williams Brothers Trucking Company home run of the season. From Carter Mullis. The one two in the dirt. A good take by Duke. And it's two balls, two strikes. Wind the 2 2 pitch. High fly ball. Right center field. Center fielder drifting back near the warning track, and he drops it over his head. Duke still on his horse. He's hustling all the way, heading to third, and he's in that third. Let's take a look at that on instant replay. Back to Hazelhurst instant replay here. You see that ball back to the track, reaching up and just right over his head. 
And Duke hustling all the way, sliding into third. So Jackets are coming out heavy hitting here. That'll bring Ethan Griffin to the plate. Runner at third with two outs. Swing and a miss by Griffin. Ethan looking for his first hit of the season. The pitch. Popped up right side foul territory. It's going to get out of play. And Griffin finds himself in the hole 0 and 2. A single, a home run, and a triple by Duke Stone. Home run by Carter Mullis. Jackets are firing up big bombs early here. Edenfield from the stretch. The 0-2. Tried to check the swing, but it's a call strike anyway, and that's going to end the inning. But the Jackets pick up two runs on three hits. No errors, one left. We've played a full inning. Jeff Davis 2, Appling County nothing, 60-second timeout. This is Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. Silas Worth Monument Company offers factory direct orders from memorial designs to remember your loved ones. They can create one-of-a-kind computer designs or traditional monuments. You can choose your remembrance in beautiful granite, marble, bronze, or cremation monuments. Call Victor Worth and his staff today at 912-375-4587 or visit their location at 353 Alma Highway in Hazelhurst. Also visit them online at silasworthmonument.com. Your eyes are your window to the world around you and good vision is important to everyone. At Southern Eye Care, you can count on their expertise in treating all types of vision problems to help you see your best. From glasses to contact lenses, from surgical vision correction to treatment of eye disease and injury, their team is here to help take care of your eyes. Your vision matters at Southern Eye Care in Hazelhurst. Call them for an appointment at 912-375-2516 or visit them online at southerneyecarepc.com. Altamaha Bank and Trust takes us to the top of the second inning where the Jackets lead it 2-0 on the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic scoreboard. Going to be Nate Livingston, Patrick Crosby, and Isaac Edenfield due up for the Pirates against Alex Mason, who's been staked to an early lead here. Popped up on the first pitch, that's backing out of play. Wind by Mason in the 0-1 pitch. Popped up again. Again, behind the dish, coming back and giving it a look is Carter Mullis. It's on top of the roof. And the Alex quickly out in front, nothing in two. The 0-2 pitch missed up and in at 86. Best fast ball so far from Alex. One ball, two strikes. Livingston crowding the plate with an open stance. Fouls that one back. Count will stay 0-2. Jackets two in the first on a two-run bomb. Williams Brothers Trucking Company home run by Carter Mullis. The one-two. Got a piece of it. Staying alive. Livingston, the pirate catcher. Right-handed batter. Deep crouch at the plate. Standing right on top of the 
inside line of the batter's box. Trying to take away the inside pitch. Fast ball upstairs. Two and two the count. Mason ready to go, the 2-2. Two -two. Breaking ball, got him. Froze him with that hook there. That's three strikeouts now for Alex. That's one away. And that'll bring Patrick Crosby to the plate. Crosby, the Pirates shortstop. A little bit low for ball one. The 1 0. Jammed him with a fastball. He fought it off out of play, keeping the count up at a ball and a strike. Double hatter action here on Saturday as Harlem from up around the Augusta area comes in for a double dip. The 1 1 pitch. Just missed inside. I'll be on the air at 12.45 on Saturday. Well, it's supposed to be a beautiful week. It's supposed to be climbing up into the 80s this week. That missed low. Alex is falling behind 3-1 and one to Patrick Crosby. Nobody on and one out. Generous call on the inside corner. On the count full, three and two. Payoff pitch to Crosby. Jammed him. Slow roller on the third baseline, but foul. Applin County, the preseason favorite in that tough Region 3 AA that includes Pierce County, Vidalia, Toombs County, Brantley. All of those are potential top 10 teams. Popped up, right side. Coming in is the right fielder, Turner. He'll make the catch. And there's out number two. Bring Isaac Edenfield, the Pirates pitcher to the plate. Bases empty, two outs. They make a return trip. I will make a trip to Applin to return the favor on a week from today on Tuesday. That one's down low for ball one. And then first weekend in March, big road trip as the Jackets head north to the Rome area. Play Rock Mart on Friday and Pepperell on Saturday. Breaking ball in there for call strike. Check that. That was a fastball. Who me? One and one the count. The pitch. Um, threw another fastball that he was able to fight off both the last two pitches at 85 miles an hour. One and two the count. Chance for Alex to. Finish up the inning here. Nobody on two outs. The one, two. Missed a little bit low with the fastball. Just off the outer edge. Aimed up the count at two balls, two strikes. Alex kicks and fires. Missed inside. Count full, three and two. Alex is. Had some deep counts. Yeah, he's pitch counts kind of climbing here early on. Three balls, two strikes. Foul back. And the Applin 
Batters have been tough with two strikes and fouled off a lot of pitches. That's also contributing to a rising pitch count. Three and two to Edenfield. Fly ball right field. Hayden Turner giving chase over near the line and not going to be able to get there. It's going to fall in foul territory. Hayden gave it a chase down the line, but just kept drifting away from it. So as Isaac Edenfield will get a chance to do it again. The wind of 3-2 popped up right side. Duke Stone calling for it. He's got it. And that will end the inning. No runs, hits, or errors, and none left. We played an inning and a half. Jeff Davis, two. Applin County, nothing. 60-second break. This is the Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. Make tailgating easy and delicious with help from Three Rivers Meat Company in Hazelhurst. Three Rivers Meat Company offers specialty cuts of beef, pork, chicken, and seafood. They also have several types of the in-house made fresh sausage. If you need a grill, they're the exclusive dealer for Traeger Grills in Hazelhurst. To place your order in advance, call 912-551-9621 or visit their beautiful meat counter at 90 West Coffee Street. Go Jackets from Derek Wooten and the Meat Professionals at Three Rivers Meat Company in Hazelhurst. At Jeff Davis Hospital in Hazelhurst, we are committed to building a healthy community. We use the latest technology and our knowledgeable team members provide exceptional state-of-the-art care to our local community and surrounding areas. We provide a respectful understanding of care for our patients and their loved ones. For more information about Jeff Davis Hospital and the services we provide, call 912-375-7781 or visit us online at jeffdavishospital.org. Since their founding in 1968, the Beasley Group has become a vertically integrated leader in the forest products industry, and this growth is... Back here as we go to the bottom of the second inning, oh, taking us there by Altamaha Bank and Trust, Eli Saunders will lead it off for the Jackets. He'll be followed by Jackson Sayer and Kaysen Clance. Eli hitting 182 on the season with an RBI. First pitch is in there for a call strike. The 0 1 pitch. Swing and a miss. Chased a high fastball. Nothing in two. The Jackets got two in the first on a two run Williams Brothers Trucking Company home run by Carter Mullis. Fastball missed wide. A ball and two strikes. Isaac Edenfield working his second inning. Popped up right side first baseman Hall drifting over just in foul territory and he makes a catch. Route number one. That'll bring Jackson Sayer to the plate. Sayer stands in, right-handed batter facing the right-handed throwing Edenfield. Way up and away. Sayer hitting 111. He has driven in a run. Swing and a foul tip. One ball, one strike. Sun beginning to set here at Yellow Jacket Field. You see some nice pink sky up above the clouds reflecting, showing a little pink tinge here. That ball missed inside. Oh, it's what has been just an absolutely gorgeous day. In downtown Hazelhurst, Georgia. No place in the world I'd rather be. Well, maybe. Two and one the count. 
to Jackson Sayer. Showing bunt, pulls it back, takes it up and in. Count three and one. Haven't had a EP American footwear pitching change here in the early going. Both pitchers are been rock solid. Inside, good take by Sayer, and he's going to work a one-out walk. First walk issued by Edenfield. That's going to bring Case and Clance to the plate. Clance hitting 400 with not driven in a run yet, but been working a good solid bat. Run at first, one out for the lefty. Throw goes to first, chases Sayer back. In the first, after an out, Ethan Picanso on the opposite field single. With two outs, Carter Mullis hit a bomb to put the Jacks on the board. Duke Stone followed with a triple off the wall in right center field. That fessed up and away. Here we got here in the second one out and a man aboard for the Jackets. Number nine hitter, Cason Clance, the senior outfielder, preseason All-State player. Wide, 2-0. and oh. Cason Clance, Hayden Turner, two outfielders. First team preseason All-State along with pitchers Alex Mason and Duke Stone. Big cut that comes up empty. Nothing and won the count. Upstairs. Three balls and one strike. Another walk. So back to back walks after one out. The Jackets are in business here in the second with first and second and one out. We go back to the top of the order and Hayden Turner. Jim Sewell here in the broadcast booth alongside my director, Ethan Dixon. We've got Moises. Cameraman down on the field bringing you this action on JDH TV. I hope everyone's enjoying the action today. If you, have, if you are, let everybody know where to find us on YouTube. That pitch is upstairs to Hayden Turner. That's going to get Applin County coach out of the dugout as after getting an out, Isaac Edenfield has run into some control issues here. He's Walked two batters and just missed the first one to Hayden Turner. Be back here at home on Saturday for a twin bill with the Harlem County team from up around the Augusta area. We met them in the playoffs here a few years ago, a few years back, if I recall. Coaches box pole in class AA, Applin County. Comes in number one, Jeff Davis number two, the Vidalia Indians number three, Mount Perrin checks in at four, Callaway at five, Rock Mart, team the Jackets will see here down the road at six, Redan at seven, Model number eight, North Cobb Christian number nine, and Dodge County out of Region 1 AA at 10. Pierce County, Toombs County, Brantley County among teams also getting votes in the poll. Want to know the count to Turner? That's a big cut, fouls it back. One ball, one strike. Sayers the runner at second. Case and Clance at first. So you got good speed out on the base pass. And Turner, Picanso, and Mason are waiting to do some damage. 
the stretch, the 1-1. One, one. Catches an outside corner, one and two. Two-nothing Jeff Davis, we're in the bottom of inning two on the Jeff Davis walk-in clinic scoreboard. And the dirt bike ball gets away. Both runners are going to move up 90 feet on the wild pitch. So now two in scoring position with one out. So Turner with a chance to do a little damage here. Counting is two and two. Livingston jogs out from behind the dish to try to help get his pitcher through this inning here. Jackets trying to add to a 2 0 lead. Appen is going to bring the infield in here in the second inning. Everybody in tight on the grass. Ball, that one off. Tough pitch. But Hayden going to make him work another throw in here. Second and third for the Jackets. Just one out. Fly ball of any depth will get you another run. Hayden's going to ask for time as Enfield is grinding out there on the hill. He's trying to do everything he can to just to keep it at 2 nothing. From the stretch, comes set at the letters, comes to the plate. Call strike three on the outside corner. He made a playoff caliber pitch right there to get the strikeout, his second of the game. Two outs, and that'll bring Ethan Picanso up, who singled and scored in the first inning. Runners remain first and second. Big cut. Swing and a miss. Nothing in one. Edenfield, long look into Livingston. That's going to get Picanso to ask for time. stretch the 0-1 foul back and now Edenfield a pitch away from getting out of a big jam here of his own making in the second inning a couple of one out walks and a wild pitch have got two in scoring position that's going to take a two out hit the Jackets going to dent the scoreboard here in the second 0-2 the count to Ethan, the pitch, fought it off. He'll get to see another one. Jeff Davis, soccer teams over the, across the way at Yellow Jacket Stadium in action tonight at home. We've got a lot of spring sports going on here on the JDH TV network. Miss low and away. The one two of pitch about to be made. Check to swing. What a good take there by Picanso. Two balls, two strikes. Runners second and third, two outs. Jackets up 2 nothing on the Jeff Davis walk-in clinic scoreboard. The pitch. Little flare out into shallow center field. Center fielder on the run, and he can't get it over his head. Two runs are going to score. Picanso heading into second. He'll be there with a two-run double, and let's see if we got that on instant replay. Like a Hazelhurst instant replay here. 
See a ball out in the center field. Center fielder got leather on it but couldn't hold on. And that's going to make it four to nothing. Alex Mason will come to the plate with a runner at second and two outs. Jackets add on here in the second inning. Alex lined out to center field in his first trip to the plate. Big swing and it missing is Alex. Nothing in one. Alex leading the team coming in with a 556 batting average. Five RBIs in the first three games. Stands just a bit of a crouch at the plate. The bat resting on his shoulder as the pitcher comes set. Now he's going to ask for time. Pitcher came through with the pitch anyway. Nothing and won the count to Alex. The pitch down low. One ball, one strike. After an out, Jackson Sayer walked. Case and Clance walked. On a, getting a two out, two run hit was Ethan Picanso to double the Jackets' lead. It's now 4 0 on the Jeff Davis Walk In Clinic scoreboard. Call strike on the outside corner. And Alex finds himself behind in the count now one and two. Tried to tack on another run here. Got a man in scoring position. Those two out RBI hits are killers for the other team. Here's the pitch to Alex. Foul back. And Edenfield finding his pitch count climbing now. And officially I've got him at 43. Pitches here in the ball game. Count stays one and two. Alex holds the hands just about letter high as he waits. The pitch got him on a breaking ball. That's going to end the inning, but the Jackets pick up two more runs on one hit. No errors, one left. We go to the third. Jeff Davis, four. Appling County, nothing. 60-second timeout. This is the Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. Williams Brothers Trucking is now hiring qualified CDL Class A licensed drivers with at least two years over-the-road tractor-trailer experience. Williams Brothers Trucking has an excellent benefits package. They have quarterly bonuses. They have great insurance. They offer flexibility as far as your work schedule. Um, you're not really pressured into starting at any certain time throughout the day. Be home every day with family-owned and operated Williams Brothers Trucking. Apply now online. Go Jackets! Dr. Kurtman Syak and his health care professionals at the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic care about their patients. The Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic offers prompt health care for acute sicknesses and treatments for a wide range of non-emergency illnesses and injuries. To make an appointment, call 912-375-375. 4884 or visit them at 22 Cross Street in Hazelhurst. Go Jackets and God bless from Dr. Kurt Munsiak and his team at the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic. Altam Hall Bank and Trust takes us to the top of the third inning. Jackets up on the Pirates 4-0. going to be Jack Carter, Grayson Hall, then back to the top of the order for Dason Griffiths. Alex Mason has not allowed a hit. Struck out three through the first two innings. Alex was picked up the save. Finishing up that no hit, combined no hitters against Thomas County Central on Saturday. Duke Stone went for it. Cason Clance got two innings of work, and Alex Mason came on to finish it up. 
First pitch to Carter, swing and a miss. Right-handed batter with a slight open stance at the knees, and it's a call strike. And quickly, nothing in two, the count on Carter, the cent Pirate center fielder. Got him swinging. Three straight pitches down and nasty in the strike zone, and Alex picks up his fourth strikeout. Tell you what, the... The new lights here that have been installed at all of the athletic complexes really brighten up the field here. Thank everyone that's joined us on our YouTube live stream as well as those on Network One Sports. I finally remembered to start that up. Swing and a miss to Grayson Hall. Miss down low. One ball, one strike. The 1-1. One, one. Just missed inside. Good pitch there by, by Alex. Home plate umpire gave it a second, maybe even a third look. Two and one. Mason working quickly, low and in, three balls and a strike. Nobody on, one out here in the top of inning three. We've got 3-1, popped up, back this way, Carter Mullis looking at him. It's up on top of the roof, and that count runs the count full, three and two. Mitch's Pharmacy field condition report. It is a beautiful night for baseball, mild temperatures. And you couldn't ask for a better better thing in South Georgia in February to be playing baseball in short sleeve weather here. The 3 2. Got him! Alex blew a fastball right on by him to pick up his fifth strikeout. That'll take us back to the top of the Pirates order, Dason Griffiths, who flied to center field. Bases clear, two outs. The Jackets lead it 4 nothing on the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic scoreboard. Breaking ball in there for a call strike. I want to thank sponsors Silas Worth Monument, Southern Eye Care, and Three Rivers Meat Company. Alex ready to go. He kicks and fires the 0-1. Another breaking ball and another strike. It's 0-2. So Mason, a pitch away from striking out the side here in the third inning. Jason Griffiths digging in the pitch. Jammed and popped it up right behind the plate. Carter Mullis coming over. He makes the catch. And an easy 1-2-3 inning. For Alex Mason, no runs, hits, or errors, none left. We go to the bottom of the third. Jackets, four, Pirates, nothing, 60-second break on the Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. EP American Footwear in Hazelhurst is proud to be a part of the Hazelhurst Jeff Davis community and are proud sponsors of all Jeff Davis County sports. If you're looking for a great job with a great company, they are hiring for all shifts. You can apply in person Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, at 10 North Hill Street in Hazelhurst. Go Jackets from all the folks at EP American Footwear of Hazelhurst. Go Jackets. The Bank of Hazelhurst is Jeff Davis County's only locally owned and operated bank, serving their friends and family since 1906. They offer a wide array of services, including personal, commercial, and electronic banking services, along with mortgage and ag lending. For more information on the services they offer, Call them at 912-375-4228. Download their banking app or contact them online at bankofhazelhurst.com. The Bank of Hazelhurst. When others have their branches, they have their roots. 
We roll to the bottom of the third with Alton Hall Bank and Trust leading the way. Jackets, four, Pirates, nothing on the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic scoreboard. Carter Mullis, Duke Stone, and Ethan Griffin will be in the middle of the order due up for the Jackets. Isaac Edenfield continues to work on the mound for Appling. First pitch is down low for ball one to Carter Mullis, who had a two-run Williams Brothers Trucking Company home run in the first. He gave Jeff Davis the early lead. Upstairs, 2-0, and oh, and Edenfield working real carefully to Carter this time. Low, 3-0. and oh. Certainly trying to stay out of the middle of the strike zone against Carter. Three balls, no strikes. The pitch. Walked him on four straight. He definitely was not trying to give Carter anything to try to jump on there. That'll bring Duke Stone to the plate. That's going to get Coach Griffiths out of the dugout. Talk to his pitcher, and it looks like as he takes the baseball, uh, we're going to have a pitching change. We're here, we are, so a EP American footwear pitching change here at the ballpark. Let's take 60 seconds on the Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. Visit Mitch's Pharmacy for that fast, friendly, hometown service you deserve. We carry a full line of prescription and over-the-counter medicines so that there is never a long wait. Talk to Mitch and ask how you can save on all your prescriptions. Shop small and save big by switching to Mitch. Inside Mitch's Pharmacy is Designs and More by Brandy, where you will find popular brands like Fieldstone, Corky's, Gans, Braswell's, and Savannah Bee Company, as well as Brandy's own silk and live floral designs and custom gift baskets. We are your one-stop shopping location. At Alta Mahal Bank & Trust, we strive to help you live your best life. That means offering loans for nearly any dream or goal. With competitive rates, local processing, and quick decisions, we can customize a loan to fit your needs. This is Misty Boatwright, Relationship Manager at the Hazelhurst Branch. Come see me today at 57 North Tallahassee Street or visit our website at altamahal.bank. And let's work together to achieve your financial goals. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. We're back at the ballpark, EP American Footwear Pitching Change. New pitcher on the mound for Applin County will be Levi Reynolds, a right-hander. Isaac Edenfield goes two innings plus one batter here in the third. Four, hit, four runs on four hits. He walked three, struck out three. Duke Stone will come to the plate to be the first batter to face Reynolds. Stone tripled in his first at bat. Duke, 6'4", about 220. Also a junior committed to the University of Georgia. Breaking ball sailed up high. And that, when you're pitching a Duke and you throw it high, it's really high. That was about his chin height there. The 1-0. Fouled on the left side. Count him to 1-1. Carter Mullis walked to start the inning. Big cut by Duke comes up empty. That's one and two. Run at first, nobody out. Jackets trying to add to a full run lead. The stretch, throw to first. It may be Jude Worthington over there as the courtesy runner for the catcher. Yeah. 
Way outside, that ball gets away all the way to the screen. And that'll move the runner up to second base. That is Jude Worthington as a runner at second now. Two balls, two strikes, a count to Stone. Reynolds from the stretch. The pitch. Line drive, left field, base hit. They're going to wave the run around third. Here comes the throw, the plate, relay throw down low, and he's going to, oh, he's safe as the catcher let the ball get away. Had him dead at rights, but the catcher couldn't hang on to the throw. Duke Stone picks up an RBI single. As Jude Worthington, hard slide in there, maybe dislodged it. See the. Uh, that'll make get the Jackets make it 5 to nothing as Stone takes second on the throw to the plate. And that'll bring Ethan Griffin to the plate. Swing and a miss. The stretch, the pitch, check the swing, takes it low and away. One ball, one strike. Jeff Davis five, Aplin County nothing on the Jeff Davis walk-in clinic scoreboard. I think our streaming sponsor, the Beasley Group, for all their fine support. Big cut. And coming up empty is... Griffin. One and two the count. Runner leads from second. Down low and in. It's going to run the count to two and two. The stretch, the 2-2 pitch. A little flare out into shallow left, right center field. That falls for a hit. They're going to wave Stone around. Here comes a relay throw to the plate. Not in time. Got to throw back to second is too high. Ethan Griffin drives in a run to make it 6 to nothing. See that on instant replay. See the... Runner high throw to second as Griffin slides in. Still nobody out. And Eli Saunders will be the batter. The Jackets have scored two in every inning so far. Look for more here. Bunt, first base high, good bunt. First base has to field, throw to first in time, just in time to get Saunders. Sacrifice is going to get Ethan Griffin over to third base. So one away for Jackson Sayer. Runner at third, one out. Sayer walked and scored his first time up. Takes a strike on the outer edge. Jackets two in the first on a Carter Mullis, Williams Brothers Trucking Company home run. Jackets added swing and a miss. Nothing in two. Two more in the second inning on a Two-run double by Ethan Picanso. Now Stone and Griffin have each driven in runs here in the third. Outside, a ball and two strikes. Runner at third with just one out.
the stretch and the pitch. Low and away. Evens up the count at two balls, two strikes. And happening with the infield pulled in all around. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Missed wide. So after getting ahead, 0-2. Jackson Sayers worked the count full. The stretch and the payoff pitch got him swinging. That'll be out number two. First strikeout for Reynolds. That'll bring Kaysen Clance to the plate. Clance walked and scored his first trip. Left-handed batter. A big hit. Big extra run just 90 feet away. All speed pitch is up high. Applin came in, ranked number one in the coach's box poll. Jeff Davis at number two. It's been all jackets to this point. That misses inside. 2 and 0. Oh. Jackets coming in off of that big combined no-hitter by Stone, Clance, and Mason against Thomas County Central on Saturday. Swing and a miss at a nasty pitch down and in. Two balls, one strike. Right, Levi Reynolds on in relief of Isaac Edenfield. The 2-1. Off the end of the bat foul. Even up the count at two and two. They'll take a two out hit from Case and Clance if the Jackets are going to tack on another run. He got a runner at third with two outs. The 2 2 pitch. Breaking ball swung on and missed. As Reynolds picked up his second strikeout, and that will end the inning. But the Jackets pick up two runs on two hits, no errors, and the Jackets leave one. We played three, Jeff Davis six, Applin County nothing, 60-second break. This is the Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. Silas Worth Monument Company offers factory direct orders from Memorial Designs to remember your loved ones. They can create one-of-a-kind computer designs or traditional monuments. You can choose your remembrance in beautiful granite, marble, bronze, or cremation monuments. Call Victor Worth and his staff today at 912-375-4587 or visit their location at 353 Alma Highway in Hazelhurst. Also visit them online at silasworthmonument.com. Your eyes are your window to the world around you, and good vision is important to everyone. At Southern Eye Care, you can count on their expertise in treating all types of vision problems to help you see your best. From glasses to contact lenses, from surgical vision correction to treatment of eye disease and injury, their team is here to help take care of your eyes. Your vision matters at Southern Eye Care in Hazelhurst. Call them for an appointment at 912-375-2516 or visit them online at southerneyecarepc.com. Altamont Bank and Trust takes us to the top of inning four. Jeff Davis has built a six to nothing lead on the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic scoreboard. It'll be Colin E. Waltz and Jake Evan Sykes and Jack Coleman due up here in the fourth inning. Alex Mason will continue to work for the Jackets. E. Waltz and Waltz and stole a base in the first inning. Left-handed batter, right-handed pitcher. Good cut by Walson, but he fouls it straight back into the net. Nothing in one. Jackets have scored a deuce in each of the first three innings. The stretch, the 0-1. Down low. One ball, one strike. Like 
to recognize after this pitch. That one's outside. Our JDH TV network sponsor, the Jeff Davis Hospital. They're very instrumental in bringing these games to you on our live stream, brought to you by the Beasley Group. It's outside, three balls and one strike. Hope you're checking out all these. There's a strike. Makes count three and two. All these great ads that we run between inning, all the great camera work and des art design by uh, our students here at Jeff Davis High School. Got him. Up check. Must have been a little bit low. Wow. Like a pretty good pitch, but. He Walton's going to get to walk for the second time tonight. That'll bring John Evan Sykes to the plate. He struck out looking his first time. Runners at first with nobody out. Just the second base runner for the Pirates. They've all come by walk. Both of them have been E. Walton. Swing and a miss. A nasty curveball down in the dirt. Carter Mullis had to scrambled to try to find the handle on that one. A very awkward swing by Sykes. Alex must have put some stuff on that one. The 0-1, the runner goes. Fastball inside, throw down. Not in time. Pitch was a strike. It's nothing in two. He walks and steals his second base of the night, so he's in scoring position with nobody out. I think he called it a strike. Still got 0 and 1 on the scoreboard. File back into the screen. Count stays 0 and 2. Runner at second, nobody out for the Pirates. Find themselves in a six-run hole here in the fourth inning. Breaking ball, got him. Nasty, nasty pitch there from Alex. To pick up his sixth strikeout. One away. Jack Coleman was a strikeout victim his first time up. Swing and a miss by the big lefty. Coleman, the designated hitter, fouls that one off. And Alex quickly out in front, nothing at two. Man at second with one out for the Pirate Jackets. Six nothing here in the fourth on the Jeff Davis Walk In Clinic scoreboard. Applin came in sporting a 4 0 record. Turn and look back to second. But very early in the season. A lot of baseball to be played before this thing's over with. Tied him up. Swung on him, miss another really filthy pitch there from Mason to pick up his seventh strikeout. He's got his breaking ball snapping off there at the plate tonight. Nate Livingston struck out his first time up. He walks and let off the inning with a walk, stole second. He's standing there now with two outs. Ball pops away from the catcher runner to move. Throw down to third is not in time. It'll put Walson at third on the wild pitch. Mullis blocked it as best he could, but Colony Walson is 
quite fleet of foot out there. A couple of stolen bases and now taking third on a pitch that didn't get very far away from Carter. The 1-0. Excuse me, swing, ro slow roll to third. Sayer in quickly, throwing to first in time. Duke Stone on the receiving end, and that's going to end the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. A runner left at third. With through four and a, three and a half. Your score. Jeff Davis, six. Appling County, nothing. 60-second timeout. This is the Jeff Davis Hospital Sports Network. Make tailgating easy and delicious with help from Three Rivers Meat Company in Hazelhurst. Three Rivers Meat Company offers specialty cuts of beef, pork, chicken, and seafood. They also have several types of the in-house made fresh sausage. If you need a grill, they're the exclusive dealer for Traeger Grills in Hazelhurst. To place your order in advance, call 912-551-9621 or visit their beautiful meat counter at 90 West Coffee Street. Go Jackets from Derek Wooten and the Meat Professionals at Three Rivers Meat Company in Hazelhurst. Jeff Davis High School would like to thank the following alumni sponsors for the support of Yellow Jacket Athletics, Sweet Seas Flowers, Gifts, and Custom Framing, Lumber City Drug, Laney Internal Medicine Group, Hazelhurst Auto, Southern Root Salon, Stones Machine Shop, Whitfield Breedlove, Coleman Tire and Auto, Water Service Center, Raglan Timber, Pallet One, Renaissance Bank, Family Health Care Connections, Theater of Hazelhurst, Jeff Davis County Farm Bureau, Jeff Davis Monument Company, Jeff Davis Board of Commissioners, Java Queen, Rebel Auction Company, Cheney Bush Irrigation, Johnson Office Solutions, Kane Insurance Company, Air Pro Heating and Cooling, Dr. Roberts Family Dentistry, Chips Discount Drugs, Interstate Credit Union, Pigot Barbecue, and Cotton Partners. Alton High Bank and Trust leads us into the bottom of the fourth inning where the Jackets have built up a 6-0 lead on the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic scoreboard over the number one ranked Appling County Pirates. Hayden Turner, Ethan Picanso, and Alex Mason will come in to face Levi Reynolds here in the fourth. Turner is lined to second and struck out looking. Swing and a miss on a breaking ball. Reynolds, the second pitcher, sent out to the bump by the Pirates tonight. Fastball sailed high. That's one and one. Isaac Gadenfield went to start. Pitched two innings plus one batter in the third. Low and away. Two and one, gave up four hits, four runs. One of those hits, a two-run Williams Brothers Trucking Company home run by Carter Mullis in the first inning. Two and one, the count to Turner. Fly ball, right field, center fielder running, right fielder running, and nobody's going to get there. Oh, that check that a big running catch by the right fielder Turner for Applin County. He just sprinted into the gap and made that a nice running catch out there. One away, robbed Hayden Turner of a hit. That'll bring Ethan Picanso to the plate. Bases empty, one out. Ethan a single, a double, scored one, driven in two. He's having a night, Ethan Picanso. Squares to bunt, takes an off-speed pitch up and in. Jack at second baseman. May not be the biggest guy in size out there on the field, but he plays with a big heart every time to turn the lights on. Swing and a miss. One and one. The stretch. The one one pitch. Good take is that one sail wide. Jackets have done a good job. They've been aggressive at the plate, but have 
not chased a lot of bad pitches tonight. The 2 1. Swing and a foul tip. I believe by Reynolds is. That's a pretty active breaking ball, all speed pitches out there. He's struck out a couple. Count even at two and two for Ethan Picanso. The pitch. Late swing got him on the inside pitch. Three strikeouts now for Reynolds. Two outs. Going to bring Alex Mason to the plate. Alex so for two, lined to center, and is struck out. But he has been deadly on the hill tonight. Checked his swing on real late. Check swing. They'll peel down to first. The first base umpire says no swing. One ball, no strikes. Struck out seven and has not allowed a hit to this point. Takes one down and in, two and oh. Only two base runners for the Pirates. Uh, only has been calling the waltz and twice, and he got on both times with a walk. Two and oh to Alex. Swing and a miss. We'll be back here Saturday for a big doubleheader against Harlem. 12.45 for the pregame show of game one. Call strike on the outside corner, and it's two and two. Jackets about maybe trying to avoid going three up, three down for the first time tonight. The count's two and two on Mason. Low. Full three balls, two strikes. Jackets with two in the first, two more in the second, two more in the third. Had a deuce in every inning. And now the bases are empty and two outs. The pitch. Grounded third base side, but foul. Count will stay full at three and two. Thank you everyone that's joined us on our Beasley Group live stream on our YouTube channel. Also our audio stream on Network One Sports. The payoff pitch fouled out of play right side. Alex hanging in there is going to force another pitch. Got some activity down in the jacket bullpen. Alex may be getting close to his pitch count tonight. Down low, Alex draws a walk, and that avoids the three up, three down inning. As Mason trots down to first. And that'll bring Carter Mullis to the plate. Check that. I'll bring Dylan Carlock to the plate as a pinch hitter. So Carlock will come in to pinch hit for Carter Mullis. Runner at first with two outs. The stretch and the pitch, swing and a miss. <laughs> Jeff Davis six, Applin County nothing on the Jeff Davis walk-in clinic scoreboard here in the bottom of inning four. Carlock, right-handed batter. The pitch, call strike on the outside corner, nothing in two. Two tough pitches there by, from Reynolds to Carelock, one right in on his fist, and that one painting the black on the knees, low and away. 
Oh, and two. Good take as that missed low and away. One ball, two strikes. Crowd has just kind of settled in here this afternoon, this evening, as on a very, very nice February evening here in South Georgia. A one-two pitch, got him. That's going to end the inning. As Reynolds picked up his fourth strikeout, no runs, no hits, no errors. The Jackets leave a runner at first. We played four. Jeff Davis, six. Appling County, nothing. 60-second timeout. This is the Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. At Jeff Davis Hospital in Hazelhurst, we are committed to building a healthy community. We use the latest technology, and our knowledgeable team members provide exceptional, state-of-the-art care to our local community and surrounding areas. We provide a respectful understanding of care for our patients and their loved ones. For more information about Jeff Davis Hospital and the services we provide, call 912-375-7781 or visit us online at jeffdavishospital.org. Since their founding in 1968, the Beasley Group has become a vertically integrated leader in the forest products industry, and this growth has made them the largest hardwood sawmill in the United States and North America's foremost producer of crane mats and timbers for the energy transmission, utility, and construction industries. The Beasley Group is proud to be members of the Hazelhurst and Jeff Davis County community. They are also proud supporters of all Jeff Davis High School sports. Go Jackets from the Beasley Group. We've got four in the books here at Yellow Jacket Field. Six runs, six hits, no errors for the Jackets, no runs, no hits, no errors for the Pirates. It's going to be Patrick Crosby, Isaac Edenfield, and Jack Carter due up here in the top of inning five. We roll to the fifth with Ultima Hop Bank and Trust, Alex Mason. Continues to work on the mound. Dylan Carlock checks in for Carter Mullis defensively behind the plate. Patrick Crosby will lead things off for the Pirates. He flied out to right in his first trip to the plate. Call strike outside corner. Alex has had command on both sides of the plate tonight. The 0-1, a little bit low. One ball, one strike. The stretch, the 1-0 pitch. Right back up the middle. That's going to dive and stop by Picanto. Tries to get up and throw. Boy, he did everything he could do to try to keep the no-hit bid intact. But that's going to be an infield hit for Patrick Crosby. First hit of the game for the Pirates. Just a seeing eye grounder that skirted right by Alex on the mound. Ethan dove for it, got scrambled to his feet and did all he could do to try to get the runner at first, but not in time. Isaac Edenfield, who popped out to first in his first at-bat, will stand in. Call strike on the outside corner. Check that. This is Reynolds. So the first is not in time. So Reynolds batting for Edenfield after he came in to replace him on the mound. Well, this is first at bat. Right-handed batter facing a right-hander Mason. Runner goes, pitch down low. Mullis can't get it cleanly. Patrick Crosby swipes the base. Pirates have run the bases well. They've got three stolen bases tonight. Well, they've got a runner in scoring position with nobody out. 
One ball, one strike, the count. Swing and a miss. Alex buried that one right down around his ankles. And it's one and two. Stretch. Turn throw back to second. That one skips into center field, but Case and Clance right there to make sure the runner has no thought about trying to take third. A ball and two strikes. And a Reynolds, the pitch. Big swing and a miss. Alex gets strikeout number eight. One away for Jack Carter. Runner remains at second with one out. Just a little bit high. From the stretch. The 1-0 runner goes to third, throw down, and he's safe. Swipe tag down there by Jackson Sayer. The throw was just a little bit high. So now the Pirates run at third with one out. One ball, one strike, the count. The fly ball by Carter could get him on the board. Jackets up 6 nothing on the Jeff Davis Walking Clinic scoreboard when the top of the fifth. Swing and a miss. Good all-speed pitch there by Alex. Big, need to get a big strike out here to keep that runner at third base. From the stretch. Got him swinging with the, some high heat. Nine strikeouts now for Mason. Grayson Hall will come to the plate. He struck out his last time. Runner at third, now two outs. Mason working out the stretch now full time. Swing it. Boy, he tied him up with some filthy all speed stuff there. I tell you what, it's not sure if it's his curve or his changeup, but one of those ought to be illegal the way he's throwing it tonight. That fastball missed high. Batters have no chance on it. One ball, one strike, runner at third, two outs. Mason trying to keep the shutout intact. That ball pops away, it comes a runner home. And that and Appen is going to get on the scoreboard on the wild pitch. That makes it six to one. One ball, one strike to Hall now with the bases empty and two outs. Popped up. Back this way, Carlock gives it a look. Two and two. Whoever was throwing down in the bullpen earlier has finished up their work. Call strike three, paints the outside corner on the black there for strikeout number 10 looking. And that's going to end the inning for the Pirates. Pick up a run on one hit. No errors. Nobody left. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Jackets, six. Pirates, one. 60-second timeout on the Jeff Davis Hospital Sports Network.
Altamaha Bank and Trust takes us to the bottom of the fifth inning. Jackets lead the Pirates 6-1 to one on the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic scoreboard. Duke Stone, Ethan Griffin, and Eli Saunders will be due up for the Jackets. Levi Reynolds is going to continue to work on the hill for the Pirates. Stone two for two tonight, a triple, a single. Has scored one and driven in one. So Duke getting hitting out of a early little bit of a slump here in the early going. He's swung a good bat tonight. It's all speed pitch misses inside for ball one. Hey, what he was came out of the gates like a wild bull against Thomas County Central. I believe he struck out the first seven in a row he faced. Fly ball, center field, center fielder Carter will come in about five steps and make the catch for out number one. No, he struck out six in a row, then the first two innings. That'll bring Ethan Griffin to the plate. Griffin struck out, singled, and drove in a run. Nobody on him, one out. Foul back and out of play. Applin County came in ranked number one in the coach's box, Georgia Poe. Jeff Davis at number two. All speed misses wide. Jackets got out quickly with two in the first on a Carter Mullis two-run home run. Added two more in the second and two more in the third. Applin finally got on the board in the fifth. Swing and a miss upstairs. One and two. Ethan Picanto driving in two in the second with a double. Stone and Griffin driving in runs in the third. Chase one way outside. Strikeout number five for Reynolds. And that'll bring Eli Saunders to the plate. There's been a bit of a negative here tonight. First the pitch to Eli, low and away. The Jackets have struck out eight times. The 1-0 missed down low, 2-0. and Nobody on two outs. Saunders... Fouled out to first and laid down a good sacrifice. Swing and a miss. Two and one. Bases clear, two outs. Bottom of inning five. Jackets up six to one on the Jeff Davis Walking Clinic scoreboard. Foul back. Count goes to two and two. Hit to be back home right here at the friendly confines of Yellow Jacket Field Saturday for a doubleheader with Harlem. Big afternoon of baseball on Saturday. Pre-game show for game one will start at 1245. Come out and support the Jackets. Two balls, two strikes to Saunders. Call strike three, and that's going to end the inning. Saunders caught looking, and that's going to end the inning. No runs, hits, or errors. Jackets go three up, three down for the first time tonight. After five, Jeff Davis six, Applin County one, 60-second timeout. This is Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network.
that black screen. They did. We go to the top of the sixth inning. Jackets six, Applin County one. EP American Footwear pitching change. New pitcher on the mound for the Jackets, right-hander Hayden Turner. Alex Mason goes five innings, allows one hit, one run, two walks, ten big strikeouts. Griffiths, A. Walson, and Sykes are the three up for the Pirates, top of the order for Appling. Turner ready to go. He's going to, Griffiths is going to step out on him. Got some more activity down in the jacket bullpen. Breaking ball in there for a call strike. Griffiths is flied to center, fouled out to the catcher. Hayden Turner, the right hander. Fast ball at 83 is wide. One ball, one strike. Fly ball, left field. Left field to Monsiak. Come check that. Shortstop Saunders falling down makes the catch. Eli Saunders, let's see if we can see that on instant replay. Went out, called it, and then lost his footing right as he made the catch, but managed to hang on. You see him calling for it there. It's tumbling as but kept his eye on the ball and made the catch. A great play there by Day, uh, Eli Saunders on the bank of Hazelhurst instant replay. Going to bring Colony Walson to the plate. Walked twice, stolen a couple of bases. Upstairs for ball one. Jackets can't seem to find the strike zone against this guy. Left-handed batter. Facing the right-handed throwing Turner. That's a strike on the inside corner. It's one and one. Mason gave up just one hit. Apple was able to run the bases aggressively. Tied him up upstairs. He didn't, didn't ask for... The umpire to check on it. High check to swing, so it's two and one. Turner fires. 79, and he was late on it. Out of play, it's two and two. The stretch, the 2 2 pitch. Just missed inside. That runs the count pull, three and two. Hey, let's don't walk this guy again. We've already seen he's got some jets, so let's keep him off the base pass. But we didn't. Walked him for the third time tonight. That'll bring John Evans Sykes. Keep an eye on Colony Walson at first. He's already stolen two bases. Let's see if we, what kind of mood Hayden Turner has. Turns and throws to first, back easily. Duke Stone holding the run at first. Let's see if we double up on the throw to first. If we do try to catch him. With a snap throw, it just as he was be taking his lead before he got set, Hayden tried to quick pitch him over there. Three in a row this time. He Walson was still standing on the base, and him taking his lead that time. Turner comes to the plate, calls strike right at the knees.
Dylan Kerlock now catching in place of Carter Mullis. Sykes back in. He struck out twice, looking twice. Throw to first. Again, the runner back easily. He's going to swipe another base. Hayden Turner's going to make him earn it. Doing everything he can to try to hold him on the bag. Stretch, pitch, breaking ball, call strike on the outside corner. Nice pitch there. That sweeping curve from Turner just painted that outer edge. Nothing in two to count to Sykes. Hayden steps off the back of the mound, gets a little dirt. Looks into Carelock. Comes set, belt high, pitch. Fastball up and away. One and two. Jackets lead it six to one on the Jeff Davis Walker and Clinic scoreboard in the top of inning six. Applin has one on, one out. Runner goes. Breaking ball, call strike three to throw down to second. Not in time. He had no chance to get him on the breaking ball. But Turner gets the strikeout with a nasty curve. Two gone. The designated hitter, Jack Coleman, will come to the plate. Coleman is struck out twice. Left-handed batter. Big burly guy. Fastball missed down low. The Walson, with his third walk of the night, stands at second. It's also stolen three bases. That second, he did get to third base on a wild pitch one time, but that's as far as he's gotten in three times on the base. Upstairs, 2 and 0. Oh. Runner at second, two outs. Turner stretches, pitches. Nice off speed pitch to that. Sneaks in the back door to the lefty. It's two and one. That's going to get Coach Glass out of the dugout. <coughs> thing, not sure what that was. Well, we got a minute here. We want to thank our streaming sponsor, the Beasley Group, our network sponsor, the Jeff Davis Hospital, also... Silas Worth Monument, Southern Eye Care, and Three Rivers Meat Company. And all of our very fine sponsors. Two balls and a strike. The count on Jack Coleman. Runner at second with two outs. Turner on in relief of Mason. He pitched five strong innings, striking out ten. Fastball misses low and in. Three and one. Now that's only allowed one hit, one run. Two walks against 10 Ks. Three balls, one strike to count to the designated hitter. That missed way upstairs. And that's going to put two on with two outs. Second walk of the inning issued by Turner. And Nate Livingston will come to the plate. Livingston is struck out looking, grounded to third. First and second, two out for the Pirates. Jackets up by five here in the top of the six. Low and away for ball one. Still 
He'll have activity down in the Yellow Jacket bullpen. From the belt, the pitch. In the dirt, a good block by Kerlock. 2-0. and oh. Got to make them leave running when you're up by five late in the game. The 2-0 pitch. 3-0. and oh. Three balls, no strikes. Davidson, I'm sure, is going to be taking all the way here. Almost hit him. And we've walked the bases full here in the six. Bases full of Pirates with two out. And get a run at first. Bray Brown will be the runner at first for Athley. And Patrick Crosby, the shortstop, will be coming to the plate. Crosby has the only hit for the Pirates. He scored their only run. But right now, Ducks on the pond for Athley. It's going to take a two-out hit. Turner trying to work out of a jam of his own making here. Three walks in the inning. Fouled out of play, right side. That's a good way to get ahead in the count. Jeff Davis leads it 6-1 to one on the Jeff Davis Walking Clinic scoreboard. We're in the top of the six, but Applin threatening to get right back in this thing. Three bases full and two outs. Wide for ball one, one and one. Aiden Turner on in relief of Alex Mason. It's a sign from the stretch. Stayed high. Two and one. And this may be a guy that Hayden's got to get to stay in the game here. Bases loaded, two outs, three balls, one strike, in danger of walking a run in now. Turner takes a little walk off the back of the mound. Three balls and a strike to Crosby. The pitch. This wide ball four and a run in. See, Walton comes in to score to make it six to two. Four walks in the inning by Turner. Coleman moves to third. Brown to second. All right, we're going to get a pinch hitter for the Pirates. And Jacob Gardner. He's going to come up and hit. And Coach Glass going to stay with Hayden here, trying to get him through the inning. Base is still loaded. But it's now 6-2 to two on the Jeff Davis walk-in clinic scoreboard. Jackets lead is cut to four. Swing and a miss. As Gardner went after the first one. That's a big strike there to try to get his confidence back. The 0-1. A little bit wide. A ball and a strike.
This way you earn those region game calls, strike at the knees. Well, the Appling County fans didn't like that call very much. That's one and two. Got to swear you earn those innings in region play. If you gut it out here and get out of this jam with just the one run score. The one, two. Got him. Oh, my goodness. Oh, the jacket. Infield was sprinting off the field. And that may have been a makeup call from the pitch before, which may have been a little, looked a little bit low. Now it's two and two. My, my, my. From the stretch, the 2-2 two -two pitch. Got him swinging. Hayden Turner rallies to get out of the inning, but the Pirates pick up a run without benefit of a hit. No errors, and they leave them loaded. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Jeff Davis 6, Appling County 2, 60-second break on the Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. bankofhazelhurst.com. The Bank of Hazelhurst. When others have their branches, they have their roots. Altamont Bank and Trust takes us to the bottom of the sixth inning. Jeff Davis, six. Applin County, two. EP American Footwear Pitching Change, Colin E. Walson going to become the third pitcher used by the Pirates tonight. He comes on in relief of Levi Reynolds, who went three innings, allowed two hits, no runs, walked one, struck out six. Jude Worthington is going to grab a bat. He's going to swing at the first pitch. Sky one down the right side. That's going to get out of play. Worthington, right-handed batter. Takes a strike. It's 0-2. Pitch. Missed wide. One ball, two strikes. We're in the bottom of the six. Jackets with the four run lead. Well, more insurance wouldn't hurt. Call strike three at the knees. First strikeout for Ewalson. That'll bring Case and Clance to the plate. Nobody on one out. Swing and a miss by Kaysen. Kaysen's walked and scored and struck out. Fly ball, left field, left fielder on the run, coming hard, coming hard. Can't get there. It's going to fall in for a hit. Look at the hustle by Kaysen Clance, but he's going to be out at second. Tried to stretch it to a to double, but uh, good alert play by the left fielder, 7-4 on the put out at second. So 
Well, that'll bring Hayden Turner to the plate. Turner's 0 for 3. First pitch misses for a ball. Bases empty, two outs for the Jackets here in the bottom of the sixth. Ewaldson from the stretch. Paints the outside corner. One ball, one strike. Jacket six, Pirates two on the Jeff Davis walk-in clinic scoreboard. Down low, two and one the count to Turner. Walson steps off. Now he's got the one he wants. He steps into the pitch. Swing and a miss. Aims it up at two and two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, and base is empty. The pitch from E. Walson. Got him swinging. So E. Walson... Picks up a couple of strikeouts, and the Jackets go three up, three down, no runs. They did have a hit, but erased, trying to stretch it into a double. No errors, and nobody left. We go to the seventh. Got to hold them, Jackets. Jeff Davis, six. Appling County, two, 60-second timeout. This is Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. Service you deserve. We carry a full line of prescription and over-the-counter medicines so that there is never a long wait. Talk to Mitch and ask how you can save on all your prescriptions. Shop small and save big by switching to Mitch. Inside Mitch's Pharmacy is Designs and More by Brandy, where you will find popular brands like Fieldstone, Corky's, Gans, Braswell's, and Savannah Bee Company, as well as Brandy's own silk and live floral designs and custom gift baskets. We are your one-stop shopping location. At Altima Hall Bank & Trust, we strive to help you live your best life. That means offering loans for nearly any dream or goal. With competitive rates, local processing, and quick decisions, we can customize a loan to fit your needs. This is Misty Boatwright, Relationship Manager at the Hazelhurst Branch. Come see me today at 57 North Tallahassee Street or visit our website at altimahall.bank. And let's work together to achieve your financial goals. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Altamaha Bank and Trust takes us to the top of inning seven. Jackets need three more outs. Jeff Davis walk-in clinic scoreboard shows us it's Jeff Davis six, Appling County two. EP American footwear pitching change, Eli Saunders is going to come on to try to close this one out. Be the third pitcher employed by the Jackets. Hayden Turner goes one inning, does not allow a hit, does give up a run. He walked four. Struck out two. And Jack, Gar Jack Carter will be the batter for the Appling County. Carter's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. So Saunders, a right-hander, goes to work. 78 on the outside edge for a call strike. Eli holds the mitt high in front of his face as he steps into the wind. Breaking ball, swinging a miss, a foul tip rather. 0 oh 2. That was another fastball. Just bared it down low. No balls, two strikes. The pitch. Curve ball, froze him 66 miles an hour on that hook. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night for. Jack Carter, and he's got the hat trick. And that's his third strikeout of the night. Bring Grayson Hall to the plate. First pitch swinging is foul. Nothing and won the count to Hall. Hall also has struck out twice, once swinging, once looking. Alex Mason struck out 10 through five innings. 
Hayden Turner added a couple more. And now Eli Saunders has one. Nobody on one out. The 0-1. A little bit low. Jackets got two in the first, two more in the second, and two more in the third. A big blow with the fly, fly ball right field down the line, giving Tracy Stone, but it's going to be on top of the hitting facility. One ball, two strikes. Carter Mullis, a two-run, two-out, Williams Brothers Trucking Company home run in the bottom of the first to get the Jackets on the board. Ethan Picanto, a two-run double in the second. Then Duke Stone, Ethan Griffin driving in runs in the third. They wind the one-two. A little bit high. Two balls, two strikes. Eli Saunders, third pitcher. Coach Paul Glass has rolled up on the bump tonight. The 2-2 pitch. Swept low and away. 3-2. and two. Got a those strikes here in the seventh. The lead is full, but boy, that thing can get away from a hurry if you don't throw strikes. Popped up on the infield. Alex Mason. Calling for it. He makes the catch. A little sidearm snow cone action there, but Alex held on. So last hope for the Pirates is going to be the leadoff batter, Dason Griffiths. Griffiths is 0 for 3. He's flied to center, fouled out to the catcher, and is popped to short. Applin came in number one in double A in the early poll in the coach's box, Georgia. Jeff Davis at number two. There's a strike. Way to get ahead on this batter with nobody on two outs. Eli looks into Carelock for the sign. Hiding behind the mitt, he reaches behind his head and fires. Down low. One ball, one strike. Starts high, rolls his arms back behind his head, and then un uncurls and fires it to the plate. The 1-1. One, one. Missed wide. Two balls and a strike. Bases clear, two outs. Jackets need one more out to get a win over arch rival. Applin County. And we'll travel back over there next Tuesday. The 2 1. Line drive down the left field line, hooking. That's in the corner for a fair ball. Griffiths is rounding second. He's going to, rounding first, rather. He's going to cruise into second with a two out double. He can get the daylights out of that ball. Applin is not going to lay down. Ne never thought they would. From Colony Walson to the plate. A Walson has walked three times tonight, stolen three bases, and has scored a run. Runner at second with two outs. Saunders now from the stretch. Checks the runner at second. Missed down low for ball one. That one thing we always say, that 21st out is always the toughest one to get. The 1-0. Call strike on the inside corner on a breaking ball. The pitch down low. Two and one the count. The 
the stretch, the pitch, missed wide. And now a Walson with the opportunity to walk for the fourth time tonight. It's three and one. We haven't found a way to throw it across the plate to Emma all night long. The three one. Swing and a miss. It's three and two, and the Pirates down to the last strike now. Come on, Eli. Finish this guy off right here. The stretch. The three two. Missed wide, and E. Walson draws his fourth walk of the night. Well, he can't steal second because there's a runner already parked there. And Jake Evans Sykes is going to be the batter. N.J. Nance is going to come on as the pinch runner. At courtesy runner for E. Walson at first. So two on, two outs. Jackets lead it six to two on the Jeff Davis walk-in clinic scoreboard, but Appleton's making us try have to earn this win. Still need an out. Sykes has the hat trick. He struck out three times tonight. Oh, they say no swing. My goodness. Breaking ball that tied him up. He tried to check his swing, but base umpire said he didn't go. One and oh the count. Wow. There's a strike on the outside corner. One and one. Saunders trying to close it out here. Applin trying to make it tighter. The 1-1. One, one. Hit on the ground foul by the third baseline. And again, Applin down to their last strike. Eli Saunders gets a new baseball. Climbing back up on the bump. Two on, two outs. One ball, two strike count. The pitch. Missed high. And now, boy, deuces are wild. Here we are. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two on. Top of inning seven. The 2-2. Two, two. Three and two. Saunders gets the sign from Carlock from the stretch. He comes set at the belt. The pitch. Hit on the ground towards short. That's going to be stopped by the second back. Throw to third. And they got him. Picked him off third. The runner at third but went too far around the bag alertly. So, uh, Jackson Sayer at second. Saw him off the bag. Fired it to Alex Mason at third. Let's see. We can get that on instant replay. We may have waited too long, but let's see what we got. And yet, just like that, the Jackets squeeze out a win here. And it's six, five on the put out at third, and that's gonna be the ball game. But Applin County here in the second, no runs. They did pick up two hits, no errors, and they leave two. Your final score, Jeff Davis six, Applin County two. Let's take a break here on the Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network.
and delicious with help from Three Rivers Meat Company in Hazelhurst. Three Rivers Meat Company offers specialty cuts of beef, pork, chicken, and seafood. They also have several types of the in-house made fresh sausage. If you need a grill, they're the exclusive dealer for Traeger Grills in Hazelhurst. To place your order in advance, call 912-551-9621 or visit their beautiful meat counter at 90 West Coffee Street. Go Jackets from Derek Wooten and the Meat Professionals at Three Rivers Meat Company in Hazelhurst. All right, back here at the ballpark where Jeff Davis has defeated Appling County by a score of 6-2. to two. Let me get my camera adjusted here just a minute, a little bit. All right, your totals in this one. Six runs, seven hits, no errors for the Jackets. We left four on base. Two runs, three hits, and no errors. Appling County left seven on base. Alex Mason picks up the win. Enfield takes the loss for the Jack. It's a big win here tonight. Step up here. Let's see if we get you in here. There we go. Alex Mason joins us. Alex got the start on the hill tonight. Got a, a good outing, five innings, ten strikeouts. Looked like you were having com being able to command the ball on both sides of the plate. Yes, sir. I mean, we came out, we came out early, and we got a mm -hmm. couple runs early in the game, and that that put some confidence on me on the mound, knowing I got a little bit of a lead makes you feel more more comfortable. Carter Mullis, a big bomb to start things off. That kind of put a charge in everybody, yeah, that, didn't it? That top of the bottom of the first right there, that that puts a, uh, a total on us right there. It helps us out. All right, uh, this is a team that we know what kind of a program Applin has. Always a big. Uh, Rivalry matchup with them, but both teams ranked high in the preseason, early season going here. So, um, gonna be a battle. We're gonna have to see them again next week. Yeah, I mean they're they're a playoff team. Yeah, well, there's a chance they could play them on. I think they came in undefeated. They got a good team. That's right. Congratulations on getting the win tonight. Thank you, Alex Mason, the starting pitcher, picked up the win tonight for the Yellow Jackets. Carter Mullis comes in. Carter, what'd you hit? Home run. Home run. You did hit a home run. What pitch was it? Fastball. Fastball. Looked like it was kind of center cut, wasn't it? Low center. Low center. Got a hold of it. You got all of that one. So that was a, that was a big throw. That gets the guys out, gets your team out to a big lead early. Always good to get an early lead against a, in a rivalry game like this. Yeah, uh, Alex came out and pitched a great first mm -hmm. inning. Uh, in that bottom of the first, when we put it that two spot, that just really got us going right there, and it set the tone for the rest of the game. And I think we followed up pretty well. We added on, got two runs in each of the first three innings, and then kind of had to hang on a little bit there at the end. Yeah, we kind of had a, we kind of fell off a little bit right, right there. That's just early on in the season, losing focus. We just mm -hmm. got to stay foot on the gas and finish the game strong. Congratulations on the home run and the win tonight. Thank you. Carter Mullis. We had a Williams Brothers Trucking Company home run tonight to help power this win. Come on in, step right over here next to me. Eli. Uh, Sayer. Sayer. Hey, Jackson. How you doing? Good, Jackson, that, you'd, you'd moved over to play shortstop there at the end, didn't you? Yes, sir. Tell us about that play to end the game. You know, you just got to keep your head down and make the play. Yeah, heads up play. You were alert. You saw the runner went too far past third. And, uh, you know, that's a that's a, that's a the kind of plays that, uh, you know, when you when you want to be a playoff team, those are the kind of plays you got to make in close games yes, that turn, turn the tide sometimes. Yes, sir. Uh, tell us a little bit about the game night. We had good pitching, solid hitting. Yes, sir. You know, we just we just battled. I mean, we get to the plate, got two strikes, mm -hmm. just got to battle. Throw strikes, you know, throw strikes, you win ball games. But All right. Congratulations on the win tonight. Duke Stone steps in here. Duke, step over here close to me. Got a couple of hits tonight and uh, drove in some runs. So tell us a little bit about. Uh, uh, you know, getting getting the bat moving tonight, playing first base. Uh, yes, sir. I just kind of had. 
more focus on the hitting standpoint tonight mm -hmm. rather than the pitching, and I think that helped me. And just kind of going up there and short my swing, and I hit better with two strikes tonight. So maybe I just need to start going up there with two strike approach and putting a barrel on it. Getting an early lead against it in a rivalry game like this is always big, isn't it? Yes, sir. Coach Scott always says mm -hmm. if you can get a big, big inning on them, it's hard to come back. Congratulations on the win tonight. Thank you, Duke Stone. Joining us here on the post game show. Coach Paul Glass joins us. Coach, got a, another strong pitching performance from Alex. You got uh, some some firepower early with Carter and Duke yeah. and and Ethan. Ethan had a, a two run double, so uh, got a big lead. Then we kind of had to hold our breath a little bit. Yeah, I mean it's one of them deals where mm -hmm. you know it's one of those games, and this is a, in a rivalry game. Mm -hmm. You don't never feel like you got enough runs, That's and, right. and we scored, and it it kind of felt maybe like we took our foot off the gas a little bit. Maybe mentally, offensively right there. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we had some bad at-bats. We had – that's what I told Coach Betts a while ago. We had some good at-bats. And mm -hmm. then when you turn around and have just a right – right the opposite awful looking at-bat. Right. And that's just a, you know, lack of focus probably on our part. And, and we got we to gotta know that it's a seven-inning game. And we can't play two or three innings good and come mm -hmm. out of the gates and then just kind of coast because you won't, you, won't do, you won't do much if you're a playoff team. You won't do much right there doing that. That is a quality team out there that we saw tonight. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, they're, we got we got to go to their place next week, but uh, it, it could very easily be uh, uh, somewhere down the line in the playoffs. We'll oh, have to man. see those guys again because they are, they, are, they are the real deal now. Yeah, I tell you, I'll tell you that's as good an Appling County team mm -hmm. as we've seen. Mm -hmm. They're good every year, and Zach's right. doing a really good job with them, but they, they, are, they are they're solid. You can just tell that's a really, really good baseball team right there. And, and he told me before the game, you know, I know he's got some big arms down there, mm -hmm. and I think the last kid we saw was 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 possibly one of them. I know right. the third baseman is their guy, mm -hmm. the the biggest arm I think they got. But uh, I mean, they've all I've never seen an Appling County team that didn't have power mm -hmm. pitching, and uh, man, they got them again this year. Yeah, and and they're uh, gonna hack it in the plate too. Man, I'm telling you, they they take they take their rips, mm -hmm. and they they're that team when you when you play them, you're like, man, they don't get cheated at the plate right yeah. there. So you better hit your spots as a pitcher and. Uh, you know, not get behind, and we got behind, and mm -hmm. then we, we kind of uh, had to fight out of a hole a little bit. Yeah. You, you can't play – you can't pitch teams like that constantly in 2-1, two, 2-0 two, oh counts. Mm -hmm. you, you, better, you better work ahead and try to get them to hit your pitch because if you, if you get in predictable counts with guys like that, I'm mm -hmm. telling you, they will smash it. And uh, Alex did a pretty good job, but he ran yeah. some deep counts tonight. They did, did a good job fouling a bunch of pitches off. They did. I think I've got to look at his pitch count. It got up real quick. Yeah, I think we went through almost a case of baseball tonight. <laughs> uh, somehow they were disappearing mm -hmm. when we, you know, when they were going over. But I, right. I mean, Alex ran. He he ran a lot of deep counts. I looked mm -hmm. down at my chart, and he was three ball count on a lot of guys. And a, and part of that was they battled so much yep. at the plate, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, you got to tip your cap to them. And in a in a in a age of baseball where pitch counts come into play, mm -hmm. if you got a guy who's really throwing good. You know, you, you need to just foul pitches off and get him out of there and try to beat the next guy if he's yeah. throwing really good. I mean, that we, was the, that's kind of the philosophy we took against a big guy at Rockmart a couple yeah. years ago in the state well, championship. I mean, yeah, I mean, it, mm -hmm. we weren't going to beat him, and everybody said you ain't going to beat him. Right. And we're like, well, we're going to try to beat him. And then yeah. once it looked like we wasn't, then we just need to make sure his count got up where he couldn't pitch again. So, that's right. Uh, and that's part of the game now. And mm -hmm. then you have to play that part of the game. If you know you're running up against a good pitcher who may overmatch you in some spots, you need to try to go deep counts. It may result in a strikeout, but let's try to go see six, eight pitches mm -hmm. in that at bat and get his count up and get his tail out of there and try to beat the next guy. So uh, they did a good job of getting Alex's count up. Yep. And, and for him to last five innings, especially after the first two, I mm -hmm. think he was at 40 pitches he or was. so That's what after I, two innings. Mm -hmm. and, and for him to go all the way to the fifth was a pretty good job on his part battling. And it felt like he was really gutting it out a right. little bit out there tonight. He still had his stuff. Yeah, it was but, good stuff. But he was – I, I got a feeling if you ask him, how he he would say he didn't feel quite as sharp tonight as he's been. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, if he's bad and he threw like that, then if, I, if, I mean, if he wasn't sharp and got ten strikeouts, <laughs> yeah. we'll we'll take that dull so, knife every night. That's right. <laughs> so, uh, but I, I mean, he just seemed like he was two o, two one, one o to hitters mm -hmm. a lot tonight. So, mm -hmm. and that that's not uh, typical, Alex. But you know, he gutted it out, and then you got to find a way to win. I you know I, I keep <clears throat> I keep talking about Jay Brinson, and right. he. He he talked a lot of times about pitching and 
when I worked with him at Wayne County, and he said a pitcher ain't going to know what his best pitch is until he gets out on the mound that night. Mm -hmm. And his best pitch might be uh, it might be a fastball tonight. It may be a curveball tonight. And you don't never know. And Alex didn't uh, – he didn't have as sharp a stuff tonight, uh, maybe with his changeup, I think. Uh, but, you know, he found a way to win, and that's what, that's what competitors do is you mm -hmm. find a way to win, and I thought he did a good job of that. Doubleheader Saturday against Harlem. Right. Um, we saw him in playoffs a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. I think, and uh, so another quality team going to roll in here. Well, I'm telling you, if, if 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 people out there are not very familiar with Harlem baseball, you ought to go Google it and 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 look up a guy named Jimmy Lewis, who is the head coach at Harlem, and I think he's either second or third on the win list mm -hmm. in Georgia high school baseball history. Mm -hmm. And back in the day, I don't know what they were classification they were it was before I got into Georgia. Um, but I think he's won five or six state championships up there. Right. So they they are tradition rich baseball team. Man, I'm tell you, mm -hmm. and they are uh, they're triple A. So they're they're not in our class. But you talk about a fundamentally sound. You better you better cross all your T's and dot your I's against the Jimmy Lewis team because mm -hmm. he's got every trick in the book, and he and he knows how to coach baseball, and he's been doing it for a long time, and. I tell you what, we'll we'll we haven't played them in a long time. Mm -hmm. I don't have any kind of you know. We'll look see what they did last right. year and how many guys they return and all that. But I guarantee you that won't be a bad base. They, Harlem will not be a bad baseball team. They probably have never been one under yep. Jimmy. So uh, looking forward to the opportunity. They're going to come to us this year, mm -hmm. and we'll return the doubleheader to them next year. So you know, <clears throat> it's a chance to get to a play a team from a part of the state we haven't played in a while. So. Uh, you know, it worked out for us, so yep. hopefully it'll be a good matchup and we'll get good weather and uh, good day at the ballpark. Coach, congratulations on the win tonight. All we'll right. see you Saturday. Thank you, Jim. Coach Paul Glass on the win tonight. Big win over Applin County. Once again, your final score is at Jeff Davis 6, Applin County 2. For Moises and Ethan here, the production crew, this is Jim Sewell. Good night, everybody.